Tyler is here yeah, on your ceiling. Rel- relatively <laughs> new to the uh, to the show. How long have you been working here now? Uh, now a little over two months. All right, so a little over two months. That's and it. So Randy, I know it seems like forever. Right? It does. It seems yeah. like getting yeah. eight. No, so uh, Randy normally has the adulting questions, but he walked into the office yesterday and uh, had a question for everybody. And your question is. How do you get out of a car lease? I made a bad financial decision about two years ago, taking out a lease on a truck I couldn't afford, and now I need to get out of it. So how did you get approved for how it, did it they say yes. if you couldn't afford it? They, at the time, I could afford it, but they were just like, hey, let's just get this guy in. And yeah, it's pretty easy to get wants. approved for stuff like that. Really? It's not that hard. Yeah, yeah, really sometimes they hard. do like sign and drive or whatever, zero down. Yeah. Yeah, it's exactly what it was, zero down, sign and drive, like, here you go. Oh, no. Really? For a three-year lease? How long's the lease? It was like six years. Six-year six year lease? lease? What? It ends Whoa. in 2021. What? What? Whoa. Did you... Why not just buy it? Did you get off one of those quarter lots by a gas station or something? Yeah, it, it used to by be a Dairy station. Queen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this says, we deal. Yeah, right. Yeah. Wow. yeah, it wasn't a corner lot, but it was by a gas station, so... Damn. So a six-year lease. It wasn't, it wasn't a major dealership, right? It was. It was really because really, yeah. it sounds like you go into the check cashing place and yeah. out the back door to the car. Lot. I've never heard of a six year lease. Me neither. Yeah. So I was going to say, I, just ride it out. Or you're at two years already. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm not surprised that they exist, but like, no offense, who's dumb enough to do a six year lease? You know what I mean? At that point, just finance like, what's and buy it. it. Well, yeah. What like what's it going to be worth at the end of yeah. the six years? Right. And I know it's a way to get your quote payment down. Well, what I was going to say is I know there's websites where you can have people take over your lease, but I don't think they're going to take over four years. Yeah, right. Yeah, we're in 2019 now, so a bit, a bit closer two to Two more three. years. Three, yeah. two and a half. Yeah, if you don't mind like me that. asking, how much are the payments? Uh, almost 600 a month. Jeez! What? Oh, my God! Oh. That's insane. Did you... <sighs> how many Man. miles a year? 12,000? I honestly don't even remember. So at the end of the lease, that's $43,200. You could have bought it for way less. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And your payments would have been know. way lower. Okay, we get it. You're an idiot. So now how do we <laughs> get, get we you out this? of this thing? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Question on the text. What the hell kind of job did you have to be able to afford that ridiculous lease? And then furthermore, what did you do to lose that job yeah. and be stuck with this situation? Uh, so what were you doing when you got that? Job I had, I was working at a warehouse as a driver and I was making a ton of money in overtime. So that's why I could afford it. I quit because radio is what I want to do, and that's what I went to school for. Oh, boy. Uh, Ouch. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, obviously the right decision. Um, (laughs) Yeah, right. (laughs) Yeah, but like when, like overtime, you're not really supposed to, when you're applying for a loan, you're not supposed to put like, Yeah, that's above and beyond. Because overtime is like, you can't really count on that. It's not guaranteed. Right. True. It was one of those so things where... Because don't, they don't really check that stuff. No, it was all, like, right. The thing was, is it was one of those things where I'm looking more in the moment and not at the bigger picture. Yeah. Now, did yeah. you have yeah. credit of any kind? So like, I, like between that mm-hmm. and then also, like, his credit must suck. Yeah. So well, he probably had a crazy high interest rate. Yeah, whatever credit I did have, oh, it's gone by now. Oh, it's really... God. Mm. Yeah. Also, I want to know how many miles do they give you per year on this lease? That I Just, honestly don't remember. I'd have to go back and look at the paper. Uh, you don't remember. Don't remember. You another text. Getting... <laughs> yeah, another text says I had a six-year lease as well. Sucks how long it is, but it was the only way I could get a car without a cosigner. Wow. Oh. I'm, I'm about halfway done on it. That's true. I signed it by myself. Couldn't get a cosigner. So five hundred two know... says it sounds like Tyler doesn't need a truck and he's a DeLorean. Yeah, yeah totally. I like, like machine. I like nine oh nine. Fake time. your death. Fake yeah. your death. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people saying you should just fake your death. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, I uh, again, I, I check with people that uh, that would know something about this. Who has a better answer than fake your death? That has a better answer <laughs> than fake your death. Although one, one wasn't much better. Uh, one of the replies said, "You could stop making the payments, and the bank will definitely come pick it up from you." But I ten out of ten would not recommend that. No, definitely mm-hmm. not. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, the simple answer is that you can always trade out of it. The biggest problem is when you're trading out from zero to 30 months because your payoff is the residual amount plus any remaining payments. But there are companies that uh, that do lease swaps or swap a lease that will uh, help you find somebody to take over the remaining payments of your lease. Ain't nobody going to do that. Yeah. Although you might have a hard time finding somebody who's going to take over a pickup truck right. payment for $600. Yeah. A month for the next four years. Right. And how many miles are already on this truck? Uh, forty-five thousand. 
Dude, after after you're, two years, you're way over your yeah. two years. mileage on a lease. Yeah, you're way over. You're gonna owe so much more. Oh my you are God. so screwed. This is gonna be a hundred thousand dollar truck. Yeah, the most I've ever seen on a lease. I like the lease cars because I like to get something yeah. new every couple right. of years. And I don't. I mean, I don't drive it uh-huh. terrible, but I still like. I'll get the fifteen thousand mile allowance per year. Yeah, per year. That's the biggest I hear. Yeah, that's like, the biggest that yeah. I've seen. Definitely. And after that, what's the penalty like? Fifteen cents a mile, twenty. Some, yeah, it depends. Twenty cents a mile. Yeah, it depends. Probably on his deal, it's probably like twenty-five cents to a yeah. dollar. Yeah. yeah, most likely a quarter. Uh, here's <laughs> one from a guy who owns a uh, car dealership. He says, if you are in the military and get orders for overseas, the leasing institution will take the car back. In normal circumstances, most times in a lease, the people are out of whack as far as the relation of money still owed on the vehicle versus the market value of the car, which that's you. Mm-hmm. Uh, some people, especially in states where uh, there are really strong consumer laws on the books, will claim that their vehicle is defective and the dealer cannot fix the vehicle in a reasonable amount of attempts, the Lemon Law. Other than that, there are no secret bailout strategies that I know of besides biting the bullet and writing a big check. Ugh. Join the Marines. Yeah, go to just, Afghanistan. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. Join the Marines. Uh, here's another one. It says there are companies to help with that process. Lease Trader. So you should look okay. into that. I mean, okay. you, you might find some sucker. That, you know, hey, if you were out yeah. there, there's got to be at least another sucker yeah. out there. Yeah, born every minute, right? Uh, essentially, <laughs> one lists their lease and how long is left and potential people can claim that lease for said vehicle for the rest of the term. It is legal and is really the only legit way to get out of a lease without paying crazy money. Wow, okay. So these these yeah. are from all the people who, like I said, these are people who would know. They're in the industry. Uh, I did see some people on uh, the text that said CarMax will buy your lease off of you, uh, but that also depends on how mm. upside down you are, because you may have to. Even though they'll take the <laughs> lease over from you, you're still going to owe them money to make up yeah. like that gap, like the the, the difference of the. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of figured like, oh, I'm going to owe money either way. It might yeah. be worth checking out though. There's yeah. a CarMax yeah. right down the street. Look, like I you... wonder I wonder how mm-hmm. much like what would the so I guess it would be six hundred bucks, right, for the next over the next four years. Yeah. Is mm-hmm. what his payoff amount would be to get out of the lease. Yeah. Right. Plus he's way over the miles. So there's gonna be a penalty there. Right. And it's only a two year old truck and you're at forty four thousand miles. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if he wants to get out of a payment, some dealerships will buy the vehicle back as long as you owe less than the truck is worth, or you could possibly get it refinanced. So the rest of your lease, you owe twenty eight thousand eight hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Oof! Yikes! Look, are you, are you looking to buy a house in the next seven years? Uh, no. No default. Don't. Yeah, just. Whatever, repo, fine. Just go to the bank and drop it off. Yeah, see you, bye. <laughs> I mean, that could be an option, buy right? Buy a used car, you're gonna, you're gonna, it's going to suck, but... Somebody yeah. suggested and, and, and your just... credit will be terrible. Right, your yeah. credit yeah. will be like, shot. like, what, seven years? Yeah. Hey, man, yeah, yeah. Work, work for yeah. us, right, bro? Dude, I did it. I'm fine now. <laughs> <laughs> you did? Is that what you did? No, no, I'm just saying, like, I had... Have that you done that? Credit was yeah. 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 If it's even, have you done that? Well, that's, yeah, but we talked about it on the air, where I was dropped. I was part of the financial collapse of the housing collapse. I owned a home. Now I own a new condo and I have great credit. Yeah, just took a you know better part of a decade. Yeah, likewise. You're just gonna have to ride it <laughs> out. How man. old are you, Tyler? Twenty-seven. Uh, you're good. Yeah, you'll be fine. By the time you're forty, you'll be in the clear. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it seems like a long time now, but Let's it goes if I can make it to forty. Yeah, you have life <laughs> insurance. How much is that worth? Getting. Probably not, but nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if he wants to get out of the payments, some. Oh yeah, we already read, read that. Hold on one second. I got another one here. Mm. It says. Uh, are you positive you're not financing? That was another question I had. <laughs> exactly. Like, yeah. Are you sure this is a lease and this is, you weren't like purchasing the vehicle? Yeah. I'm 100 percent sure. 100 percent sure. Because you, you don't go, know how many miles yeah. it is. It, it, yeah. Six years would be like it, you could do it for you could finance, you a finance car it for, for six years. Five. That that I've heard. Yeah. You do five, six, or seven. Here's one that says uh, I have a six year lease. I pay five hundred and eighty seven dollars a month for a Ford Explorer. Wow. wow. You got yeah. you got ripped off. Wow. Why are you guys doing this to yourselves? Yeah, I don't know. Can you go back to the dealership and essentially beg and plead, or do they not care? They don't care. You're on drugs? Uh, I can't wait to find out uh, what happens with his issue, because I had the same thing happen to me, but I am a girl, and mine is a four-year lease at $500 a month for basically a piece of ish, basic bitch, no power windows, (laughs) no power locks, Jeep Patriot. 
Okay. Wow. Oh my God. I've 500 been, bucks? Just buy used cars, people. Not to, be a, yeah. not to be a dick, but that didn't happen to you. Yeah. You it, went out and did it. There's nothing no to do with the fact that you're like, a girl. Auto trader? Or or does, does no one have Google? <laughs> no, I'm yeah. fully aware that I made the mistake and I completely own it. Yeah. So it's just something I'm trying but to fix now. People want nice yeah. new things and they're like, oh, screw it. I can, you know, I can get in. Yeah. Mm. Jeez. Why don't well, you just be one of those desperate losers that sets up those things online, begs people for money to pay yeah, off? Yeah, get a GoFundMe. Yeah, yeah, GoFundMe. That's what it is. Yeah, go for a bad mistake. I would never stoop that low. All right, that's good to hear. Is the I truck mean, in incredible shape? I respect that. Uh, yes, it is. Like never essentially had brand new. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. And it was brand new when you got it. Yeah, it had okay. seven miles so, on it when I got so it. So now you can sell mm. a leased car privately, right, and then just pay off the lease. You gotta have a buyout. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You can just try to sell it. Here it is. I'm yeah. in sales. Hit me up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Random guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, it's better than the situation he's in. Yeah. You drive down the street to CarMax and just say, "This is my situation. What and can just you do at for least, me?" Yeah, I would start there. See and, what and, they have. To and say. can I get a part-time job? <laughs> right. <laughs>